Hi everybody, this is Lillian DeJesus from Tiger Lily Virtual Assistants and I want to say thank you so much for watching this video. Today I'm going to show you a demonstration on how to use Canva for presentations. I'm really excited. I love doing presentations in Canva. But sometimes when you do a presentation in Canva, you have to convert it into PowerPoint. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. There are some slides sometimes that you want to do just a little bit different and not the usual templates that they have in PowerPoint. And so that's when you take advantage of the graphics in Canva. And you save those, you download those, and you throw them right into your PowerPoint presentation and it becomes an awesome presentation. There's also a way you can go ahead and just save it as a template. So if you want to do branding type of presentation where you're going to go ahead and maybe watermark it with your logo and your uh, URL and have your colors that you would have for your business onto your slides, you can definitely do that too. So you have a lot of options with PowerPoint and using Canva. Um, also, you can go ahead and take advantage of converting it to SlideShare, but that would be another post that I'll show you how to use SlideShare. Uh, but today it's going to be about PowerPoint. So I hope you enjoy this video. I'm really excited about presentations, so I hope you like it. Take care. Bye. Okay, here we are. We're going to be doing a presentation through PowerPoint. So we're going to do our presentation in Canva, transferred over to PowerPoint. So you're going to go into the presentation design. And they do have quite a few layouts on the left hand side here that you can choose from. I'm going to go ahead first and name this. And I'm going to do PowerPoint slide show. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do a <laughs> trying to think of a theme here. I'm going to do food, <laughs> a food um, presentation. Okay. So let's take a look at here and um, we'll go ahead and do this bok choy for our first slide. Now, anytime the photos come out this way with the filter in it, I always change it because these photos are great. Why do you want to hide them? So I click on it. And you don't see it, but there's a bottom, uh, on the bottom, there's a button that says filter. I click on filter and here it comes. It's under the drama filter. And I don't need no drama. <laughs> I'm bringing it to normal. Okay. So we're going to leave that as it is. Change up the text. So I'm going to delete this. Delete this. And let's say we're going to leave it as bok choy. Okay. That's fine. But if you want to change it, you can certainly do so by clicking it and putting in your cursor and changing it. It's as easy as that. This is our first slide. Okay. I want to add another slide. And on the bottom, you can't see it, but there is a button that says add a new page. And voila, here's our second slide. So I'm going to go ahead and let's check this one out nice photo very nice photo so I'm gonna go ahead and use this photo it looks spectacular I can go ahead and change up the text if I wanted I'm gonna leave it as it is okay for time's sake I'm gonna go ahead and add a third slide you're gonna click on add a new page on the bottom of that slide and let's look for another one Wine tasting. Looks great. Again, I'm going to change the filter. Oops. There we go. Make it normal. Or make it festive. Okay. Looks great. I'm going to leave the text as it is, but of course you can change it if you need to. This is my third slide. You'll see the number here. But say, you know what, I want that wine tasting to be my second slide. I'm going to click on the arrow button here, which is going to move it up. Now this bistro is the third.
third slide, wine tasting second, bok choy is first. I'll say this is going to be my complete presentation for time's sake. I'm having three slides. Um, now, anytime you make a change, it's going to say saving here. If it's done saving, you'll see the Canva logo and you're ready to go to download. Click on download, click on image. Okay, so then your slides are going to be converted into pings, and I'll take you to PowerPoint. And as you can see, all of those great photos are free. I didn't even have to look anything up. They have them readily available to me. And if I did have anything for a dollar, it would come up to letting me know I need to put in my credit card number. So now it's in my downloads and I'm going to go to PowerPoint. Okay, so now it's taking me to PowerPoint and I'm going to choose the plain white background. Here we are to the regular slides. And what you want to do is click on media. I'm sorry, click on picture. <laughs> I'm thinking about Keynote, sorry. We're gonna go to picture from file. And we're gonna go ahead and look for my downloads. And we're gonna look for PPT. PPT. PPT slideshow is right here. You'll see one, two, three. I have three slides. They're all there. I'm going to go ahead, do a shift. No, oh, they won't let me. I forgot I have to do them individually. There we go. So there's my first slide. Now I need to go in and add another slide to it. Goodness, there we go. And we're gonna go into our picture, go back to picture from file, add number two. Insert. And you can change it up if you want a different slide for the next one. Add new slide or duplicate slide, whichever way you'd like. And we're going to go ahead into picture again. And go to number three. So th this is actually great, especially when you already have done a presentation in here and you just want to add some more slides that have a little bit of fun and creative side to it. This is a great way to do it. And now I'm going to go ahead and save this and I can have this as my PowerPoint presentation or you can use the photos, take out the text and have it as your template. And in order to do that, you would go into file, do a save as. And instead of keeping it as a PowerPoint presentation, you're going to do a POTX PowerPoint template. That way it's always going to be in your templates if you need to go ahead and use that for later. If you really like these photos and you need to do multiple presentations for a different audience, then you can change it up. So that's a great thing about that and you can go and always use that as your template. So this is your presentation on PowerPoint.